Welcome back. Today we are joined by Colton Saunders with Edward Jones. Colton, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. Good to see you. Of course. Great to see you too. So today we're talking about market volatility and how to cope with that. Um, it's no secret 2022 has been a challenging year for investors. Should people be concerned, first of all? You know, I don't think so. Um, it, it is certainly a timely topic. Today we saw some green, which was, uh, which was nice to see. But, you know, I think the first thing is to kind of put into perspective where we're at. You know, the market's down about 20%, which is not good, obviously. But, you know, we experience downturns of 20% or more about every four years. So, you know, the first thing that I would say is instead of just jumping to make a change because for the sake of change, you know, talk with your financial advisor, whoever's kind of coaching you on your investments or, you know, come see one of us and see if there is a change that needs to be made. There certainly might be, but um, otherwise just review your, your goals and your risk tolerance. Make sure you're not taking on more risk than what you're comfortable with. Okay, so you don't want to make changes just for the sake of making a change. Don't jump the gun on that. Um, what about selling stocks? I know people see those stocks dip, they get worried, they might want to sell those. Do you have any tips on that? You know, um, it, it's really going to come down to what stocks are they? Um, are you drawing off your portfolio? Do you maybe need the money? Um, so it's going to come down to kind of your individual situation as far as that goes. Although one thing I will say is, you know, definitely look at look at spending from like your cash buckets or cash piles of money. You know, hopefully you plan for market downturns like this with your financial advisor, but try to draw off of, again, cash and stable assets before selling distressed assets or things that are down um, just because, you know, hopefully you can let those those things recover before selling them and you can just live off of, you know, Social Security and other sources of income. Okay, and some people have given me tips, you know, maybe now would be a time to buy some stocks. I've been told stocks are on sale, maybe not the best best way to think about it, but um, would you suggest adding stocks and looking for opportunities in your portfolio? You know, we definitely would, dis uh, would discuss or look at opportunities, you know, if you have um, cash on the sidelines that you're not going to need for a while, I mean, we definitely you know, definitely would recommend looking at that if, you know, if, if you're not going to need the cash for a while. Um, there's certainly opportunities out there. Um, you know, if you look at historically from, from the market's pers perspective, um, you know, another thing is kind of along these same lines is look at opportunities to, to rebalance your portfolio. So, you know, it's likely that most folks have seen a drop in their portfolio. So, look to see if you're underweight in a few areas. Uh, maybe you could sell some things that you're overweight in and buy some things you're underweight in to kind of help get your account back within alignment or back within the guardrails that you want to be. So that's definitely an opportunity or something to, uh, to look at as well. 